Ever wondered why protein is the darling of fitness enthusiasts everywhere? Let's dive into this world of amino acids and unravel some surprising facts about protein. Protein, the building block of life, plays a crucial role in repairing and building muscles. After a strenuous workout, when your muscles are like a house after a storm, protein acts like a team of builders, patching up damaged areas and constructing new muscle tissue. This process is how muscles grow and become stronger, so it's no wonder protein shakes are a gym bag staple. Another fascinating aspect of protein is its ability to keep you feeling full longer. Picture this, you're at a buffet and you have a choice between a juicy steak and a plate of pasta. If you opt for the steak rich in protein, you'll likely find yourself feeling satisfied sooner and for a longer period. That's because protein takes more time to digest, reducing hunger and helping you avoid those pesky cravings. Now let's talk numbers. The recommended daily intake of protein varies depending on age, sex and activity levels. However, a general guideline is that adults should aim for about 50 grams of protein each day. To put that into perspective, that's equivalent to about two chicken breasts or three cups of lentils. But don't worry, protein isn't just found in meat. Numerous plant-based sources are brimming with protein. Foods like lentils, chickpeas and quinoa are protein powerhouses and they come with the added bonus of fiber and other essential nutrients. So protein isn't just about building muscle, it's also about supporting overall health, keeping you satiated and providing the energy you need to conquer your day. It's a vital player in the game of life and understanding its role can help you make better dietary choices. So next time you reach for a snack, remember, protein packs a punch. Think exercise is just about losing weight? Think again. Exercise, my friends, is so much more than a means to shed those stubborn pounds. It's a magic wand that transforms your life in ways you might not have imagined. It's about enhancing your overall well-being, not just your waistline. Let's start with the mood. Ever heard of those feel-good hormones called endorphins? Well, they're not just a myth. Regular exercise triggers the release of these little mood boosters, helping you combat stress and anxiety. It's like your personal, natural antidepressant. Now imagine having an energy boost without reaching for that third cup of coffee. Exercise, especially when done regularly, can increase your energy levels. It's like a power bank for your body. Even a short burst of physical activity can make a world of difference. And no, you don't need to run a marathon. A brisk walk around the block or a quick dance-off in your living room will do the trick and then there's sleep. Oh, the sweet, sweet world of dreams. Regular exercise can help you fall asleep faster and deepen your sleep. Just be mindful not to exercise too close to bedtime, or you might be too energized to hit the hay. But wait, there's more. Regular exercise can also help prevent a plethora of diseases. From heart disease to high blood pressure, from diabetes to certain types of cancer, movement plays a vital role in keeping these health hazards at bay. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the office chair. Sitting for prolonged periods can have detrimental effects on your health, but fear not, incorporating small movements throughout your day can counteract this. Stand up, stretch, take a brief walk, every little bit helps. So, my friends, exercise is not just about looking good, it's about feeling good. It's about being healthy and vibrant, being energized and at peace with yourself. It's about embracing the magic of movement. So break free from the chains of your desk and get moving, your body will thank you. Is all fat bad? Are all carbs the enemy? Let's clear up the confusion. There's a world of nutrition out there and it's high time we dispelled some of the most common myths. First off, not all fats are created equal. While trans fats, often found in processed foods and fast food, can raise your bad cholesterol and lower your good cholesterol, unsaturated fats can do just the opposite. Foods like avocados, nuts and oily fish are rich in these beneficial fats which can actually help reduce the risk of heart disease. As for carbs, they're not the dietary villains they're often made out to be. Carbohydrates are our body's main source of energy. The confusion arises from the vast difference between refined and whole carbs. Refined carbs, like those in white bread and sugary drinks, are stripped of their fiber and nutrients, leading to rapid spikes in blood sugar. On the other hand, Whole carbs found in foods like whole grains, fruits and vegetables are packed with fibre and provide a steady supply of energy. Now, let's talk about processed foods. 
Did you know that a whopping 80% of the average supermarket's offerings are processed to some degree? While not all processed foods are bad, many are high in added sugars and sodium, contributing to a range of health problems. Instead, let's champion the benefits of whole foods. Fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and legumes are nature's own health foods. They're packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants. And here's a fun fact, eating a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables can help ensure a broader range of nutrients. So as we navigate the grocery store aisles or plan our meals, let's remember this. Not all fats are bad. Not all carbs are the enemy. Processed doesn't always mean problematic, and whole foods are a treasure trove of nutrition. Remember, variety and moderation are key in a healthy diet. Don't fear food, understand it. Did you know your mental health can affect your physical fitness and vice versa? Indeed, the mind and body are intrinsically linked, forming a bond that can either strengthen or weaken your overall health. Stress, for instance, is not just a psychological burden. It can also manifest physically, causing headaches, muscle tension and even heart disease. On the flip side, regular exercise is a natural stress reliever. It releases endorphins, those feel-good hormones that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. This explains why a good workout can leave you feeling happier and more relaxed. But let's not forget the quiet power of mindfulness and meditation. When combined with regular exercise, these practices can enhance mental clarity, improve focus and promote a sense of calm. The bottom line, your mind and body are a team. They work together, influencing and responding to one another. So take care of your mind and your body will follow.